Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rain to episode 5 of Girls Band Cry. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> well, you know, if you just go to that one ramen store or show up, you were up. Did she, do you know her, Nina? Or, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Let me look at the opening real quick. No, that's not her. Okay, so, then maybe, yeah, Nina has to know her. Were we friends in high school? Yeah. Something about that highly little suspicious. These, all three of these shows for today, for Friday shows, even though I'm recording this on Saturday, highly fucking suspicious with certain things. Kinda. <laughs> well, yes, yeah, sometimes it's like. Okay. He most definitely did. Well, yeah, how did you think it was going to happen? <laughs> yeah.
right? I feel bad for this guy over here on the right. Like he he he's either really drunk or he had a really bad day. <laughs> what? But that wasn't my mom. Mm -hmm. You're still innocent. Now, okay, see, this is why it's very, like, 100%. We need a backstory episode on Diamond Dust. Because just Momoka literally saying something about them and we're seeing it is two different things. We kind of need to experience that for ourselves. Right? Don't be a bitch. Mm-hmm. And then just be like, hey, I gotta sell them. Exactly. <sighs> Well, of course.
So now the question is, was she one of the girls who either bullied her or was she was was she someone who literally just didn't stop it? Oh. This is some freaking ish from Michael. Like, my, like Michael definitely, no, no, no. It's not the girls from Michael. It's the other girl who was originally in Michael, who was in the new, like, metal band for Bundity. That's the same shit! Oh my god! You can't blame her for that. Doesn't seem like it. She's right. It is. It's definitely because that was her friend. disagreements.
I'm just making a fucking mess in this restaurant. But, you know, things happen. Situations change. Oh, Nina. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think it would have been the best way to sell tickets. <laughs>
Okay. So it does make sense next week that I'm guessing we're going to have all five technically meet up to finally make this girl group. Even though we have three. Okay. But the biggest mystery of the fact that the new addition to Diamond Dust is someone from Nina's past. Her former friend, like... Damn, like, it, it, it takes you out for a moment. Like, you just can't believe it, but you'll be like, oh, shit. Like, and, and when she looks at her, all she can think of is all the shit that she went through beforehand. And, and that's, it, it is sad, but, you know, I think depending on, like, whoever you look at and you see that one person that, you know, whether they were there with you through thick and thin in, like, any situation or when you look at someone and all you think of are the mistakes that you've done with that person, it, it's just, you know, regardless, it's a blessing and a curse. Um, now, something tells me we're going to have a moment, and it may not happen now. It may happen soon in the future, where these two are going to meet up again, and it's going to be very, very awkward. Um... Same thing with Momoka seeing her former bandmates and such. Now, if we're talking about the situation of why Momoka left and such, and, you know, ha hearing her say that her bandmates told her to, like, get over it and grit your teeth um, and such, and let... Because I'm guessing... Okay. Let's... I'm trying to think. Um, okay. I'll, I'll do it like this. Okay. Think of the groups like the number one group that I can think of that comes to mind, especially when we're if we're using band sense, is almost like no doubt. I could use Paramore in a way. Um, I definitely could use Hey Monday. So any bands that have had where it's technically like majority of them are male, and then the main lead singer is a female and such. I'll even use like the quote unquote Disney group, the Cheetah Girls. Um, so when that movie came out so many years ago, goddamn, I'm old, uh, uh, and there was this, like, okay, this is the sound that they want and stuff, and then you have producers coming in saying, well, we like this, we enjoy this, but we think if you do this, and we change you into more of a quote-unquote bubblegum pop-esque instead of this female empowerment pop, then... It'll be catchy for stuff. Now, when we're talking about, like, No Doubt and Paramore and Hey Monday, the biggest thing with those three bands was, um, because I, I know they definitely, um, did they do this for, probably they did it for Paramore, I'm not 100% sure, but they definitely did it for, like, No Doubt and Hey Monday, um, specifically where they focus more on the female rather than everybody else in the band and such. Like, the female will always be that household name when you think of that group and such. And, um, nine out of ten, you won't remember, like, the guys in the group and such. And so, for Gwen Stefani, uh, Haley Williams, and Cassidy Pope, in their situation, they, like, kind of, like, rose to fame and such. But, um... Still, they were all getting, like, these big opportunities and such. And then you also have to think about what the fact is they'll promote the hell out of the girl and such and try to almost divide the group where it's like, yeah, you can still be this solo artist and such. And fuck these guys. It's all about you at the end of the day. I've seen it. You've seen it happen so many freaking times. And that's why it's like, whether you're in a girl group, a boy group, a band, anything... 9 out of 10, sometimes that shit happens. N maybe even 10 out of 10, because sometimes you can weasel your way out of it and still be in that group and maybe have, like, a couple of moments of where it's like, okay, I want to sell, like, an EP of myself, just, like, me um, as a person and not me as this group and such. So it, it's a blessing and a curse in a way, but, I mean, that is the entertainment s it's industry in a nutshell, where... It'll be a group of friends who have come up together. They've done so much together. They've been this impeccable um, unit. And then the inter entertainment industry will just slice them up and divide them up to where if whoever is the main, main person, they are the star. Anyone else, fuck them. 
And maybe for Diamond Dust, they possibly did have that moment where possibly um, Momoka was the star and such. And that maybe producers was like, oh, we really don't give two shits about them. Or maybe they did say, oh, yeah, we like your music. We really love this. But I think you should go this route. And maybe due to that, Momoka really lashed out and being like, our band has always been this. We've never been this. So why would we go down this route? And there's probably other band, other bands, other girl groups, and other guy groups who have also questioned that. And so do I think she's wrong for leaving? No, she did it out of her own accord. That I think if, if I was in that same situation as her, and especially if I wasn't truly happy with the way the group was going, I would also leave. I would hate the fact because these are my friends and we've done so many things together. It's either the smart choice you leave or you grit your teeth and you just say, okay, one day there's going to be a way where I can like write the music that I want. Um, I hate to put <laughs> that group, number five, H, Fifth Harmony, that's another situation and such where, you know, there were certain girls in that group who were a certain type of way. And then lo and behold, look what happened. They all broke up and such. You just, once again, you never fucking know what the heck um, happens be behind the scenes. As like, as a fan of whoever, we only see the one-sided. We don't see the, um, the dirty side or the dark side of certain things. But just like with the situation of, the, the 90s kid documentary thing that came out not too long ago about some of the Nickelodeon um, TV shows. There's so many things that are coming up to light that it's like not even funny anymore. And we're learning, either we're learning or we have learned how corrupt um, the entertainment industry is and such. I mean, it, it's still fucking nuts. That's all I have to say about that. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episode five of Girls Band Cry. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day to the Magic Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode six. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.